Hey there nature lovers, it's Jackie from Eco Endeavor and today I want to talk to you about these metal beds. Specifically, I want to give you three reasons why you should not buy these metal beds. Now I know these beds are extremely trendy and that's why I bought them because I got sucked into the trend, but I find that they're actually not that great and I do regret buying them. So the first reason why these beds are not good is because they get really hot like very hot, burn your skin hot. And maybe the ones that are painted might be a little bit cooler, but even if that means that you're not burning your skin, you're still really heating up your soil, which can be good in the spring when you're wanting your soil to be warm for your seeds to start. But overall, it's not that great. All of the soil around the edge of my bed dried out faster. I had to water these by hand more than um, just with my irrigation because my irrigation lines ran inside here and they weren't necessarily right up against the edge. So all of the soil pulled away from that side, which they didn't do that in my wood bed. Wood is absorbing more moisture and more water than these things are. Like metal is a heat conductor and this was way too hot. This face is south here and these, my plants were not happy in these beds. Um, I, when I planted this, I did put a, a mini hugaculture hug into the bottom and to help with moisture retention. So that wasn't the issue there because there was enough debris in the bottom that should have been able to hold that water in. The main issue was that the water dry or the soil all dried out along the sides and I had to hand water more. I don't know about you, but I'm trying to make gardening easy, <laughs> easier and hand watering is okay if I'm like starting seeds or whatnot. But um, I don't want to have to do that in the middle of the summer because my plants are experiencing extreme heat from their soil because of the metal beds. So that's my number one reason is that they do get hot. They get hot to the touch. Like I had my bare leg against here and it's like, it's like that hot seatbelt in your car when you touch it and you're like, Ooh, ouch. Um, yeah. So if you grow in a really cool climate and you want that extra heat, maybe they're good for you, but we have really dry Mediterranean summers here and it just is not good. The wood beds kept the soil at a better temperature for my plants, better for my skin. Also, the there's no ledge on this. So I know some of the beds you can buy have a rubber ledge, but like here I've got an edge that is sharp, which I'm not a big fan of, and I can't sit on these. So if I need to get in and I'm trying to lean to be able to harvest, my skin is touching and burning here, plus I don't have anything comfortable to lean and sit on. So you're kind of, you know, it's just, it's not ideal. So that would be my number one reason why you should not buy these beds. Now let's get to reason number two. Reason number two is they are very expensive. So I actually bought mine off of Amazon, which I'm not too proud to admit because I hate shopping on that place. Um, but I wanted something kind of quick and easy to put up to get my gardening started off because I was feeling lazy and didn't want to build boxes. Now, again, I totally regret that. So yes, they are very expensive. And yeah, they're, the idea is that they last like a long time, but um, they are very expensive to fill. So I did a hugel culture on mine, which meant I put sticks and wood on the bottom and then leaves and then my soil. And like just after one year, the amount that has gone down. So like, even if you're adding a hugel culture to not have to have so much soil in your, in your bed, you're still going to have to eat, keep adding and adding to it because it, it does sink over time and decompose. Um, and my beds are not even that deep. Some of the ones that they're selling now are like double or triple the size so that you're actually standing at the bed. Whereas this one, you still have to get down. So just think about that. If you are on a budget or you want to be mindful of how much money you're spending is that these are expensive. They're expensive to buy. They are um, expensive to fill. They're expensive to keep filling. And then in addition to that, they're really hard to add any DIY extra things on it. So let's say I wanted to do um, a hoop cover over top of this. Like you're limited in what you can do. Whereas if you have like this ledge here of my wood box that I just made from scrap wood from the dumpster, you can go see that video actually. I can put something on here to have like a cover that can open up uh, off and on quite easily. If I wanted to make a DIY hoop cover, it's easy to add a trellis to this design. It's easy to add like any extra stuff that I want to. And yes, this one here, like you still can add your DIY stuff to it. This one here, I made my own hoop house for it. I have a video on that as well. And just to help get that season started. 
but it's not ideal. Like it's, I would prefer if I could have made like in a frame to be able to lift off and on this instead of having to unroll and do this because if you are buying these because they're more aesthetically appealing, then you want something that is aesthetically appealing, which this it looks like a DIY project, right? So if you are buying these raised metal beds, just take into consideration that if you do want to add anything to them, you're going to be paying extra for all of those additional um, hoop houses and netting and whatnot, or you're going to have to do a kind of makeshift DIY like I did, and then it's not as aesthetically pleasing. Whereas these are just much more versatile, so much easier to add stuff onto um, than these bins. The third reason not to buy these and to instead go with wood is because these do not align with permaculture values and principles. Um, you know, gardening, I don't know what your reason is for gardening, but my reason for gardening is I would like to be able to grow my own food, to lower my environmental footprint, to have better tasting and healthier food that is better for me and better for the planet. And buying these metal beds actually in increases my carbon footprint because steel, metal, car um, corrugated, whatever this is, metal, has a really huge carbon footprint in the making of it. So if I'm really wanting to be more conscious of my carbon footprint, then anything that I can get made out of wood, salvaged wood, scrap wood, is going to be so much better for the environment, and it keeps my costs down quite a bit. Um, yes, the wood will biodegrade and disintegrate, and you will need to make new beds over again, but that's kind of the whole point of permaculture, is that you're regenerating nature and you're adding value back into the soil. So I don't really mind that my wood beds are going to become soil again <laughs> one day. Um, these again, like I know there's better quality beds out there that are not as sharp as mine are and maybe not as hot as they are. But overall, I do regret buying these. I think there's a place for corrugated metal and um, I think that I, this is going to be great for my roof because I want to be able to collect rainwater on this when I finally get my house plans ready. But for a garden bed, they just don't really make sense. Like why would I want something that is going to increase the heat of my soil in a spot where I don't, <laughs> I want to try to keep my veggies a little bit cool. Heat loving plants maybe love it, but those are my three reasons why you should not buy these. Again, of course, you can spend your money any way you want to. I just feel like there's maybe not as much um, this perspective on these raised beds being put out there on YouTube because the big YouTubers, the million dollar YouTubers out there that have these huge gardening channels, they sell these beds. So obviously they have an agenda of consumerism and of making money off of you to say that you need these aesthetically pleasing beds. So they're not going to give you the real, the real, like they're not going to give you any, any cons to these beds because they are pushing them on you. And it's actually quite disappointing because I, my, one of my favorite YouTubers, um, James, there's a James Priglioni, I can't ever say his name. Um, he follows a lot of permaculture principles and I really admired that in him that I liked his food forest design. And then this year he's now selling these beds and he has so many great videos on DIY projects and, and salvaged wood that it kind of breaks my heart that he sold his soul to consumerism. <laughs> but I guess they're all just, you know, everyone wants that money. Even me, like I don't even have a thousand subscribers and somebody has already emailed me to see if I would review a garden stool and they would send me that garden stool for free. And yeah, there it's, we live in a consumeristic society and I, I understand the affiliate marketing is a part of being on YouTube and that's how people make their income if they're a full-time YouTuber. I'm not saying I will never do it, but I think you need to be mindful. You have a responsibility as a YouTuber and as just somebody who's pushing this lifestyle of permaculture and gardening, to just be mindful of the products that you are pushing and that you are encouraging people to buy. So these, I wish that I wouldn't have fallen for this. I wish I, wish I wouldn't have thought that I needed to have these aesthetically pleasing um, garden bins because I don't think they're worth it. I think they're a waste of money. And personally, I like the look of the wood buns better. They seem to function just a little bit better in the garden for me. So again, I'm not like you can choose how you want to spend your money, but I just thought I would get that other perspective out there because I know your favorite YouTubers are encouraging you to buy these. So I'm going to here to tell you, don't buy them. <laughs> no, again, do what you want to do, but just be just now that now you're more informed. Um, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.